I do not care that you are triple volunteers. I do not care that you think you are hard. And I especially don't give a rat's what four-star generals you to get the privilege of being able to stand before me today. Those of you I deem unworthy will not remain. Is that understood? Can I get a hoo-ha, Sergeant? Hoo-ha, Sergeant! Those of you I find lacking will quit. And those of you who refuse to quit will have a training accident. This base suffers three training accidents a year. Unfortunate accidents that I will not hesitate to repeat if you cross me. Is that understood? Give me a hoo-ha, Sergeant. Hoo-ha, Sergeant! And what's your name? Sergeant, my name is Pike, Sergeant. Pike, surrender your sidearm for inspection. What the f are you doing? Have you lost your f mind? Sergeant, you told me to relinquish- Are you talking? Did you speak to me? Who the f told you to speak? A ranger never relinquishes his weapon. If George S. Mother Patton rises from his holy grave and asks you for your weapon, you will not surrender your weapon. Everybody better give me a hoo-ha, Sergeant. Hoo-ha, Sergeant! Now, son, there are people in this world that will kill you for no damn reason other than something passing through their mind. I hail from Biloxi, Mississippi, where vanilla mother like that used to hang us from trees by our necks on a whim. Now, does that sound like the kind of place you want to goddamn grow up? Sergeant, no, Sergeant. Are you implying something negative about the great state of Mississippi? Right from the beginning, Wes had a chip on his shoulder for this guy named Pike. By the time we did Green Hell, it was getting nuts. Green Hell is 20 days in the Darien, 40 clicks a day with an 80-pound pack on your back. We got real used to number oddities like that. The course was called Jungle Leader, and the whole idea was to teach you how to think when you're exhausted. Wes really knew how to get you exhausted. We spent our nights doing escape and evasion with live fire snapping right over our heads or else up to our noses in some damn swamp slapping bugs and dodging snakes. The nights we did mock POW stuff, they wouldn't let us sleep at all. We humped over the Cordillera three times, all the way to the Colombian border and back. Some of that stuff is steep as hell and the rain never let up for days at a time. Those packs got heavy in the rain. I mean, nobody ever hated anything like we hated those packs. There was this one escarpment. It wasn't more than 500 feet high, but Jesus, it was slippery. Mr. Pike, oh. can you tell me the muzzle velocity of an M16? Yeah. Yeah. 1100, Sergeant. 1100 what? Ah, made it for second, Sergeant. Take 40% of that. Multiplied by the exact number of each animal Moses took with him on the ark. Uh, uh, Come on. What are, uh, Come on. You uh, tired, Mr. Pike? Uh, Too tired to think? Zero, schmuck. Moses wasn't on the ark. Have you lost it? Well, tell me this. What is your weapon? Uh, your weapon, man. Your weapon. What keeps you alive and makes the other guy die? What is your weapon? It's your brain, Mr. Pike. Your noggin, your noodle, your smart, your gray matter, your poise under fire, your wit when all about you are losing theirs. I think you came to this party unarmed, Mr. Pike. Take off your pack. Take it off. I'll help you. Come on. You can't complete this march without a pack, Mr. Pike. I suggest you go back and get it. You need to take 40 days and 40 nights. That business bothered a lot of the guys. 
Even Mueller, who was a sort of redneck, he felt uncomfortable going to sleep around.